In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on some of n terms of an AP. So we've got a question here: How many terms of the AP 24, 21, 18 must be taken so that their sum is 78? So let us first write the data that we've got here. We've got A equals 24, the first term, okay, and then we've got D equals 21 minus 24 or 18 minus 21, which is negative 3, and then the sum is 78. That is. Sn is 78, but we don't know how many terms or whatever is there, you know. So we need to find out the n part here. So we've got Sn equals n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 into b. Uh, the Sn is 78, right? So we don't know n. So n by 2 times 2 times a is what? 2 into 24, which is 48. Plus again, you don't know n minus 1, so n minus 1 times d is negative 3, right? So now, let's take this 2 to the left-hand side, so it becomes uh, 156. 78 times 2 is 156. So 156 equals n into 48. Minus 3 into n is minus 3n. Minus 3 into minus 1 is plus 3. So you've got 156 equals... Uh, 48 plus 3 is 51. So 51 times n is 51n minus 3n square. So you've got a quadratic equation. So we've got 3n square. Let's rewrite this. So it'll become 3n square um, minus 51n plus 156 equals 0. So uh, dividing throughout by 3, we get n square minus 17n plus 52 equals 0, right? So now factorizing 52, we need to get in such a way that, you know, the product of it is 52 and the sum of it, uh, the difference between that is 17. So 13 and 4 are the ones. So 13 times 4 is 52 and 13 plus 4 is also 17. So we have n square minus 4n minus 13n. So minus 4n minus 13n gives you minus 17n. At the same time, 4 times 13 gives you 52. So plus 52 equals 0. So grouping now n, you take out n, you have n minus 4, and you take out 13 here, you've got n minus 4 again. So now considering these two terms, take out n minus 4 outside, all you're left with is n minus 13 equal to 0. So n minus 4 equals 0 or n minus 13 equals 0. So n is 4 or n is 13. So it can either be four terms or 13 terms so it takes it takes four terms of the ap or 13 terms of the ap to get to a sum of 18 so going by this it should probably be uh, 24 plus 21 is uh, is 45 45 plus 10 is 55 55 plus 8 the next term will be 15 so we've got 24 21 18 and 15 so adding all this 5 plus so 8 1 2 4 5 6 7 so yeah it is 4 so the answer is 4 so the number of terms of the ap 24 comma 21 comma 18 is 4 so that their sum is 78 so it is not 13 so it is 4 of course there are two possible answers but we'll have to like see according to the problem and then decide on what is the answer so it is 4 so this ends this problem uh, let's uh, solve another problem before uh, we end this video So we've got a problem here which says find the sum of the first thousand positive integers. So how do you do this? It's just, you know, it's just given first thousand positive integers. So that means what? It is uh, the first positive integer is 1 and then 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till thousand. We know one thing for sure. We know the first term A is equal to 1 and then we know the last term L equals thousand. So here we, we get to use this formula sn equals n by 2 times a plus l and also we know n equals 1000 so we've got 1000 divided by 2 times 1 plus 1000 right so 2 goes 500 times 1000 so you have 500 times 1001 so 500 times 1001 is nothing but 5 lakh 500 so the sum of the first thousand positive integers is five lakhs and five hundred. So we've got another sub question. It says, it says find the sum of the first n positive integers. 
So now here we do not know. I mean, what it's asking us to find is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n, which is pretty much infinity. So here we know that a is 1 and l is equal to m, right? So we have Sn equals n by 2 times a plus l. So here we have n by 2. And the n is also n. So that's the thing here. So we have a is 1 and l is again n. So what we have is uh, n into n plus 2, which is n plus n squared divided by 2. Or, you know, we can just write it as n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So therefore, the sum of any any number of positive integers is given by n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Say, for example, you want to find the sum of the first 35 positive integers. Just substitute 35 in the place of n and then you'll get the sum of that. So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you with more concepts uh, in the forthcoming videos. Thank you.